Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. What's up everyone? It's your girl, Lady M here. And today we're gonna be talking about the upcoming Sephora VIB Rouge Sale Spring sales event <laughs> so today i thought it would be really cool to kind of share with you guys what's on my wish list what are some things that i recommend that you guys pick up now that you have the opportunity to pick up some stuff with some savings because we all want to save some coins right so that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video so if you're interested in seeing what's on my wish list and what are some of my recommendations then keep on watching. All right, so let's just talk about when the sale will be. So the sale starts on the 1st of April, which is literally right around the corner. Like, can you guys believe that it's spring? Like we're officially in spring and we're about to be in April. Unbelievable, where did the time go? But I digress. <laughs> so the rouge, the sale starts for rouges. They have first access where it will be exclusively for rouge members. The first to the fourth is specifically just for rouges and then the VIBs are able to shop on the 5th all the way through. And then the insiders, which is the lowest level, um, will be able to shop on the 7th. So the last day for all members to shop is the 11th of April. So that's the whole 10 days plus 11 days to be able to get your shopping on. So the first is Rouge. The fifth is VIBs and the um, seventh is the insiders. So Rouges will get 20, VIBs 15, and insiders 10%. So yes, that is pretty exciting. I always look forward to the sale. And usually I think that one sale event, I pick up more skincare. And then the other sale event, I usually pick up a lot of um, makeup products. But this year, I don't know, like I'm, like I was scrolling through and I'm just like, man, I don't really have a lot of like things that I feel like, you know, have just came out that I haven't already purchased or things that I felt like I would just save for the sale. So the first thing that I think that I'm going to get because I have been loving so much is the fragrance. And this is by Killian Paris and it's the Angel Share Eau de Parfum. Like you guys, when I tell you that this Thing smells delicious it's delicious now it does fall in the warm and sweet gourmand um, category of fragrances the main notes are cognac tonka bean and oak wood but I have a sample um, a travel size and I ran through that so I have been kind of saving that for the sale so that I can purchase that during the Rouge sale. So that's one thing that I know that I'm gonna get and it's a fragrance and that is whew, number one on my list. If I don't get nothing else, listen, that's gonna be it, okay? <laughs> so I do have my Sephora app here and I'm just gonna go through and show you guys on the screen what are my items that are in my wish list that I think I'm going to purchase. Um, so it's so much, but not really. Let me see, where do I wanna start? I don't really have any real skincare products, honestly. Um, but the first thing that I will talk about that I'm gonna sh um, pick up is the Givenchy Prism Libre skin caring matte foundation. I do have the glow version of that and I loved it. I really wish it was matte because it really looks amazing on my skin. So I'm gonna pick up the matte version of that. So that's the first complexion product that I'm gonna get that I have to have is going to be the matte version of that. 
And then the other, maybe the next complexion product is by Danessa Myricks. She just came out with her Yummy Skin Glow Foundation. Um, so I am excited to pick that up. I was kind of hoping that it would come into store so I could really kind of try and see. I do have the previous foundation, the Vision Skin Foundation, and I do have a really good match in that. And some of the shades do translate from that to this, so I could probably stick with it. But I'm gonna try that, and then I'm also gonna try her serum primer as well. I do want to try both of those together. And you guys already know, like, I just love to keep like primers and foundations together. If the brand has a primer, I try to use that with it as well. Um, the next thing that's on my list, since we're gonna talk about complexion, is the Turn Up The Base Beauty Blur Balm Foundation by um, One Size. That is on my list as well for me to pick up so that way I can give that a try. I've wanted to try that for a while. And then the next complexion product that I have is the Kosas Re Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with SPF 25 with Hyaluronic Acid. I do want to try that. So that is also um, on my list for me to try. And let me see. Oh, I'm also going to pick up the LYS Concealer. I'm going, it's the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. I do want to try that. I do have pretty much the blush, the foundation, the setting powder, the like everything else from the brand except for the concealer. So now I could probably do like a full face of LYS because they have literally everything. So I am going to pick up the concealer. That's definitely on my list. Another product that's on my list is some some mascaras. I want to try the Milk Makeup, their new mascara. It's the Rise Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. I'm always on the hunt for a good mascara. And then the other one is from, I think it's Freck. Yeah. Freck Beauty. They have a Lash Rocket Mascara with Lash, enhan lash Enhancing Peptides. So I'm definitely going to try that out as well. All of these, those two products are from the clean line at, you know, Sephora. So that makes it even more amazing for me to try. Um, I do have like a couple hair things that I do want to try. Um, Pattern Beauty, Pattern Beauty, <laughs> Pattern by Tracy Ellis Ross. They came out with a new transition mask. They came out with a satin cap. And then they came out with a style custard and I, the style custard gel. And I love the styling cream and I love the stronghold gel. Like that combo is like everything for my hair. So I want to try the mask and I want to try this custard gel and see how does that compare to the stronghold gel. So that is definitely on my list to try. Um, so those are my two hair care products, really. And I think the other brand, um, uh, what is it called? It's the Jisoo or Jisoa, Jisoo line. Um, they also have, I thought I saw like a new uh, hair oil or something that they just came out with that I wanted to try. Yeah, it's a honey infused scalp treatment serum. So that is what I want to try from that brand. I want to see what that is all about because I do love the oil. I love like their deep conditioner is like bomb. So I do love a couple things from that brand. Um, I'm going to also pick up the Dior Backstage Concealer. I have used the Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Um, I haven't used it in a while. But when I saw that they came out with the concealer, I was like, oh, that should be pretty dope. And like, did you guys see the packaging? Like, take a look at the, it's like a little brush. It's long and it has a little brush. So you can just kind of just apply directly on the face. So I'm excited to pick that up. For some reason, it does not have good reviews. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to like it. Maybe I am going to like it, you know? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm excited to try that. 
Um, so that's on my list. The next thing is the Innisfree Dewy Glow Jam Cleanser with Jeju Cherry Blossom. I did use a moisturizer from them before that I really loved. It was very lightweight. So I'm always on the hunt looking for new cleansers. <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty interesting to pick up that cleanser. Love that. Um, ooh. Danessa Myricks also came out with some eyeliners. Like, well, like if you look at the colors, you can see all the colors that she has like on the eyeliners. So I might pick up two colors. Um, I think she has like a, um, which one was it that I wanted? A brown, it's called bronzite. So I might pick that one up and then I might pick up I don't know, maybe a black, but black and brown or just a brown. I don't know. I'll try that as well. And like, oh, and the other skincare product that I want to try is from Glow Recipe. They have this watermelon glow niacinamide sunscreen with SPF 50. So that I want to try. I swatched it in the store and I didn't see any white cast or anything. It really just kind of like, like melted into my skin. So I wanna check that out to kind of see what that is all about. And oh, I do know what I wanna try. I also wanna try the brand Sai. Is that what it's called? Sai. <laughs> they have a cream bronzer and they have a brush and then they have a setting powder that I wanna also try. So three things from that brand that I wanna try that I am excited about. Um, so the brush, it was like an Allure Best in Beauty. So that's gonna be pretty exciting to try. And then the bronzer. And they do have like two or three dark shades. So that is also something amazing. And then, um, I don't know, there's another Olaplex product that just came out. It's the Bond Smooth Reparative Styling Cream. I might try that, I don't know. I, I'm kind of on the fence with Olaplex, honestly. Um, so I might try that, I might pick that up. I don't know, depending on if it's available and I might go back and pick that up. I did pick up something from Cali Ray. I picked up the Glaze and Infuse Lip Plumper Gloss a while ago and I really enjoyed. So I might pick up another shade in that, but I do wanna try the, what is it? Free Dreaming Clean Blurring Skin Tint. I wanna try that. Um, it's clean. Ugh. So if I find my shade, I'm gonna go in the store and play around with it. So if I find my shade, I'm definitely going to be picking that up. And that's pretty much it on my wish list, you guys. Like I said, it's a lot of stuff. It's probably more makeup related, heavy. So I usually get a lot of makeup this time. And then in the fall, I tend to get more skincare type products. So that is pretty much everything that is on my list. I am probably excited to do a haul video for you guys. So I'm probably gonna go in store and pick up the things that I want and I might place an order online. So be on the lookout for my Sephora haul video that's going to be coming soon once we're able to start shopping the sale um so honorable mentions something that i think will be worthy of you guys trying if you didn't pick up any of the foundations that came out earlier in the year i highly would recommend the nars light reflecting foundation i would also recommend the um N makeup forever skin hd foundation if you haven't tried that now will be a good time for you to save some coins and pick that up as well um if you have not tried um what's the other one that um the makeup forever hd setting powder if you haven't tried that now will be a good time for you to pick that up and try that out as well i do feel like saving 20%, 15% or whatever is better than paying full price, especially if it does not live up to what your liking is. Um, if you haven't tried anything from uh, Patrick Ta, his blushes, oh, amazing. So I would totally recommend that. It's coming up on summertime, so you kinda wanna have that nice flush to the 
skin. <laughs> so I totally recommend that as well for you guys to try. And then, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I can think of that just came out that you probably would have wanted to try that you haven't tried. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to be picking up the Natasha Denona palette. Mm -mm. The pastels. No, that is definitely just a pass for me that I am not going to pick up. Um, I'm quickly looking here to see if there's anything else that I wanted to try. Oh, I just talked about these Dior Attic um, lipsticks. Oh, you guys, amazing, definitely worth the splurge. So if you can, definitely pick those up. Oh, Huda Beauty just came out with some blush sticks. So I am going to try those and she has some amazing colors. So I'm going to pick one of them up. One of the colors that I think will be the best match for me. And I am definitely going to try that out. And then she has some, um, uh, brushes that went along with that as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys that I feel like is worthy of the splurge. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, what are some things that are on your wish list? What are some of the things that you're going to pick up during the sale event? Let me know in the comments. And again, everything that I mentioned is going to be linked in the description box below for you guys. Yep. So that is it. If you aren't subscribed, please take the time to hit that subscribe button below while you're there. Turn on notification bells to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And thanks for watching today's video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.